What's going on guys, and today we are going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars Resistance Trooper Battle Pack set, which is at 75131. It is 112 pieces, and it retailed for the good old $15 when it was first released, because this is considered a battle pack. Um, yeah, before we get into these minifigures, which you get three Resistance Troopers and the Officer, which in my opinion are really cool minifigures, let's get into the Speeder. So you can only fit one minifigure. And they go in this one seat right there. Which it is the standard Lego seat. Nothing unique about it. And one thing where I where it got really weak is they didn't even put a like a remote con or a control. They literally just used a one stick that doesn't even move, which that is taking away play factors. There are two big engines that go in the back right there. They look like this, and then they look like that. And then the big gun at the top can rotate in any way possible. I like just doing it like that. And then this turns. Oop, that just came off. It's not, it doesn't really stand, but this comes out and there's a stud shirt at the top with a big cannon. And the other figure can go right there. Two guns in the front. And then the, there's these uh, clear uh, pieces to slide. Doesn't really slide well, but it can turn pretty well. And yeah, that's the speeder of the set. It's a very, oh, it's an okay build. I, I It's all right for a battle pack. Next up is getting the minifigures. The officer has no leg printing whatsoever. It has some torso printing right there. It's got the standard uh, face with the uh, remote control or like the comm link, I guess you could say. It's got the, a very uh, like common hair piece. It's got some back printing, and yeah, it's really it for this minifigure. They went very basic for that minifigure, which it's all right. It's just an officer. Next up, this is probably the weakest out of all the Resistance Troopers. I like all their helmets. They just look so sick. But they literally just took a Resistance Trooper. Let me see if I can find him. They took this guy from the Imperial Troop transport ship and slapped on, slapped on a helmet and gave him new legs. Like, that is so, that is very lazy in my opinion. I wish they would add a new character, but I guess it's okay. Cause, but he like looks so different compared to all these guys. So that's what kind of like takes it away, but it's an okay minifigure. I mean, it's still got the printing and everything. Next up, we got this guy, which he has that face, which I like this face mix. I don't see it often. It's really cool. It comes with the resistance helmet, of course. It slides up and down. This one has gray legs, gray hands. It's got some really nice, like, rebel torso prints all around. Nice straps. And this one looks really good. And then the final true figure you get is this guy. He comes with a mustache. He has the same torso and legs as that guy. None different besides the head. All right. So now, if we take this into price nowadays, you are looking at around $25 to $35 sealed. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just like button down below and subscribe to see you guys in the next video. See you guys.